I'm a local TT, I live in Ballyfermot, I live and represent this yes. constituency and I want to congratulate the organisers today for having put this event on because I think it's hugely important that the question of direct provision and the obscenity of direct provision existing in Ireland becomes an issue for our communities and that it's pushed out there as something we should all be concerned about and not just the concern of a few NGOs or politicians. I think it should be really a concern of an awareness of in every community. So today's event, from that point of view, it's a brilliant idea, us eating the food cooked by people who aren't allowed to cook food for their own families, but are feeding us today and feeding us very well indeed, so thank you very much. Somebody in my company suggested, and I thought it was a great idea, if we could extend this event to being a monthly event happening on a particular Sunday, first Sunday or last Sunday of the month, every month in an area near where there's a direct provision centre, that would really take off, I think, and would help extend and publicise this issue very deeply in the communities. So I don't know how you go about organising that, but it's something I'd like to support and I think would be great as a way of extending the, the, this cause. Um, just to say, uh, politically, I would like to uh, echo the call that Michael D. Higgins made recently when he said that it is a terrible shame that the programme that has been brought out by the current government has dropped the commitment to ending direct provision that was contained in the, in the government's uh, programme, the previous government's programme. So we will be pressurising uh, this government to get that commitment to end direct provision back in as a social demand that really is not rocket science and is not exactly the most magnanimous thing we could do. In fact, it would be just about humane to give people the right to come outside of that system, the right to study, the right to live independently, the right to work and the right to have a home here in Ireland. And there's no, uh, it's, not, it's not a secret that Ireland is one of the most miserable countries in terms of the amount of asylum seekers and refugees that we take in. I think we rank below Malta and that's not saying much. So we have a lot of catching up to do and a starting point would be to end direct provision and give people, some of whom have reared their children inside direct provision, kids who know no different. I believe there's over 400 children born in direct provision who have no citizenship in this country. It's, it has to be a breach of human rights, it has to be a breach of UN conventions and it's going under the radar. Not enough people know or care about it and uh, I just want to say we'll push for it politically as best we can but I do think it's important more communities and more people get to know about this issue, are concerned about it and begin to fight to change it. Thanks very much.